Hello world, I'm Rich and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Beautiful Sunday afternoon. Got done with a bunch of chores. The uh, sun's trying to peek out a little bit. And I've got a fun beer. This is one, I'm gonna butcher the names. I'm gonna butcher everything about it. Uh, so I'll look for you to correct me. Um, this is one I got in a uh, beer trade. Uh, this is from Brad up in Canada again. Brews Under Review. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, good stuff. Looking forward to this one. I've got uh, a couple people that were advising me on French. Uh, this is from, uh, where are we? St. Jerome, Quebec, Canada. The Brasserie Dieu de Ciel. And it's the Pêche Mort. I'm told that the uh, L is silent, but uh, we'll try it. The Pêche Mort. Here's what you got. I'm looking to make sure you get that on camera. Can you guys read that and tell me how to really say that? But well, that's what it is. The Pesh Mort, and it's an Imperial Coffee Stout. 9% ABV, uh, bottled January of 13. Um, extra strong stout, brewed with coffee. Non-filtered. Love it. It's got a half point right now before I've even opened it. So. Everything I've gotten from Brad has been really good. So, I'm getting my chalice out. Um, I gave my brother-in-law cheers, extra hard cheers uh, last weekend and really took a chunk out of it. So, hopefully I won't cut myself a la Paul, my buddy up at his cabin. Let's see what this is all about. Let's get all that unfilteredness out of here. The Depeche Mort. Now I'm hopefully getting the first word right. It sounds like Depeche from my, my Depeche Mode fan. Uh, Depeche Mort. The, from the Brasserie Dieu de Ciel. My French is non-existent. That is a beautiful pour. Black. I cannot see through it. But a two fingers worth a nice tan head. Lots of little bubbles. Lots of bubbles. Now I gave it a little extra swirl. Not seeing anything left in there. No sediment. That's pretty. Oh, coffee right away. And there's cocoa in there. Vanilla. Mmm, that coffee flavor. Coffee and the, the coffee and cocoa. Those milk chocolate uh, coffee or uh, chocolatey uh, cocoa notes really apparent. Oh, let's taste it. I've been dying. I did let this warm up. This is one that I usually, uh, some of these dark, uh, these nice stouts and coffee stouts, I'll let them warm up. Let that flavor come out. Uh, you serve it too cold. You serve it too cold, the alarm goes off. Uh, I'm about two blocks from a firehouse, and sure enough, there's a fire. So, uh, anyways, cheers. This is good. This is one of those times where you get one beer you get one chance to do a review. But, this is a three alarm beer. That coffee hits you right away. It is bitter, a bitter coffee. There's chocolate, just like it smells. The chocolatey notes in there, that cocoa. There's sweet cocoa. There's this bitter chocolate, and I've had a few of these stouts lately. Here's our bee trying to get in the bottle. He wants a little bit of liquor too that coffee right away. I mean, extra strong coffee, it's here. Um, this thing is smooth. There's a creaminess, there's a cream taste to it that lingers on your tongue well after it's gone. In fact, it really hits you. That coffee hits you right away. Just a bitter blast. Then things mellow out. Got 
the bees out late summer, it really finishes creamy. There's a caramel kind of flavor, kind of, it almost reminds me of uh, one of the candy bars. Uh, I don't get any peanuts, obviously, out of this, but there's a caramel and nougat, kind of that creamy, soft, sweet finish after starting so bitter. With all that creaminess going on, the uh, the alcohol at 9 point, was it 9.0? 9.5, it is really hidden. Um, I'm not getting any alcohol at all. This is smooth. This is really nice. Um, this is a 9 out of 10. Um, I would love, I don't know, I'm going to look up to see if they've got a bourbon barrel version of this. If you get a bourbon barrel uh, strong stout with coffee, oh my, that that's it. This is a 9 out of 10. A bourbon barrel could just give it that extra flavor and take it over the top. Um, it looks good. It smells good. It really tastes good. And uh, our fire department uh, signaled it is a three alarm beer. This is nice. Nine out of ten. Gang, if you're up in Canada, I'm going to take a look at my local bottle shop and see if uh, in the foreign section in their Canadian beers, if they've got this. I've never seen it, but uh, this is nice. Nine out of ten. Brad, you've done good. Really good. Um, gang, check out Brad. Brews under review. Uh, all one word on uh, YouTube. Runs a real fun channel. The uh, Pesh Mort, as I'm told. The uh, Brasserie Du de Ciel. See if you get that. I'm hoping that's on there. It's too bright out here. I can't see the bottle in the camera, but give it a try and uh, let me know what you think. Bradley, thanks for another good beer. Cheers, world.